Okay, so you've just wrapped up an edit in Premiere Pro 2019, and you're now ready to export for professional mixing and sound design. But if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have your sequence properly set up, you could be causing yourself a really big headache. Hi, I'm Christopher Campbell with Henninger Media Services, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover some of my best practices and tips for prepping a sequence in Adobe Premiere 2019 for exporting for audio mastering and mixing. To start, I want to give a special shout out to Two Rivers Pictures for letting us use their new feature documentary Mosul in this tutorial. Be sure to check them out in the link below in the description. Before passing this along to an audio engineer or sending it to a program to do it yourself, you're going to want to perform the following steps to save yourself a lot of time and potentially money and alleviate confusion when you move on to that step of the process. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is duplicate our sequence, and this layer of protection is essential. In case something gets shifted during the following steps, we now have a reference for how things are supposed to sound. Let's duplicate the sequence and add two mix to the end of it, just so that we can differentiate between it and the other sequences here. We're gonna be using this sequence throughout our tutorial. Okay, open that sequence, which we just renamed, and look for any nested audio clips. That's step one. Now we have to break out any nested audio in your sequence. Now a lot of people use nested clips. They can be an important organizational tool. Unfortunately, they don't translate well to formats used by most mixers. AAFs, for example, they compress nested audio into single audio clips, which limits our ability to alter the audio. So we need to restore the original audio before we export. Now here's a method that I prefer. In your sequence, identify one of your nested clips and navigate to the first frame. With the clip selected, press F to match the frame to your source monitor. Now we want to toggle two buttons down here in the sequence window. The first one is the insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips. We want to make sure that this is turned off. I also like to click snap. It just makes this process easier. Now up here in the source monitor, go ahead and drag the audio down into your timeline. Now you can go ahead and line it right up with your nested audio and let go. And after that, you're free to remove your nested audio and your clips have been restored. Go ahead and complete this process with the rest of your nested audio clips and you can move on. Okay, now that we've got all of our audio broken out, we're going to organize things. And what you're going to want to do is organize your audio clips into groups of tracks according to the content of the clip, its category. So music, narration, sound effects, etc. Okay, in this example, we're gonna put all of our narration on tracks one and two. We're gonna put our sound effects on three and four, and music on five and six. What you don't want is to have narration and music sharing the same track. Yes, I know, your audio technician can do this for you, but separating audio into tracks based on their category of sound is an easy housekeeping step that will save the audio tech tons of time and clear up a number of questions regarding your audio layout. Okay, the last step is simply to listen to it. Go ahead and watch and review your program again. This is an important step because we have just been messing with track layouts, the positions of audio, moving things around. You don't just want to assume that everything went 100% without any errors. So go ahead and give yourself one more protection listen before moving on to exporting. Okay, so your sequence is prepped and ready to go. Now in the next tutorial, we're going to cover exporting an AAF and a reference file from this sequence for audio mixing and sound design. Now bear in mind that this is just a basic tutorial, it doesn't cover every scenario, and really doesn't get into troubleshooting, so if you happen to have any problems with this process, feel free to reach out to us here at Henninger, and we'll give you a hand getting everything set and prepped for AAF and audio mastering. Alright guys, see you in the next tutorial.